So this is for all races, best time, get this going here. Rookie AI, standard three laps, left to right, Timber Falls, two sets of wells. Uh, yep, yeah, here goes nothing. And of course I've uh, replaced the modded files back out for the standard ones, default ones. So this is now playing legit, legit pure. So this is once again IGT based, in-game time based. So the time between selecting rider and bike and track, um, none of that is timed. It is all simply just how long it takes to do the three laps. And boy, this lot of takes I'm getting used to because I've been messing around past couple of days with modding pure couple of files messing around to make the speed boosting and handling way crazier. And I am no longer that used to legit pure now. So after a lap or two, I will eventually get used to it. Oh my goodness. So this will take way longer. Um, and plus this is a freestyle plus two bike in comparison. So I'm, I'm used to the uh, the boost running out way slower because of the mods, but they're all gone now, so... I've got to find a way to just deal with it. And also the, the bad turning as well, because of the freestyle plus two. Bit of lag there for some reason, not sure why, there was no background change, no pop-ups, nothing. That was odd. There's an initial 131, 132, 509, 13209. Not sure why I thought that was enough for advanced, because it clearly wasn't. Oh my goodness, this thing cannot turn. Should go for race plus two instead. Dude, that's what I'm doing. For the next 11 races, I'm switching this out. Race plus two. That was barely enough to get on the frickin'. It wasn't enough actually to get on the shortcut way. So that was a wonderful waste of time. Um, so, first track already, big mistake. Yay, fun times. Yeah, that just significantly worsened my second lap here. It is 7.40 on Thursday the 8th. Last lap for Timber Falls here. Let's have a much better last lap. Let's not let's not miss that shortcut route this time. Um, so glad that flips to extra juice. Oh my goodness! Will you turn? What gives on that little bit there? Stop here, turn, yep. Yeah, this is quite pathetic. I'm going switching this out for race plus two instead. Careful. Oh, that, that does delay the, um, how fast the juice runs out. And then if you're in freestyle, that can delay the combo linker running down. So, that's a bit of a small advantage there. And 
make it this time. There you go. It's already out? Jeez. I'm like super not used to this. I'm not sure how I went 20 forward. Well, I do know how. Race plus two. <laughs> so, that's um, easily 10 or so seconds gone already. Um, we're fixing that now. Yeah, race plus two, ding dong. These are races, not freestyles. So it is all, it is all IGT, so there's no rush in picking all this out. That should be a bit nicer to drive. Hmm. And the reason there's no first whenever I finish, whenever I finish the track, or any other narrator volume is because I have him muted. I've shut him up for once. I wonder how much time that'll actually lose me with having freestyle shocks instead on the first track. Um, at least 10 seconds, roughly. At least 5 to 10 seconds. Because a lot of those turns were a lot slower. Oh yeah, this is worlds better. Should have gone for this immediately. I, I love actually turning and not having to slow down until 10 or something just to turn. Much better. Race plus two is clearly superior. It's it's a luxury in comparison. At least for times, anyway. Freestyle plus two is obviously much better for freestyles. The whole point of it. But for races and for turning here, and for when you've got to go, race plus two is a better option. So, uh, these times obviously won't be as fast as my lap records, because it has to be fast kind of overall as an average throughout all three laps. That is quite risky doing a trick there. Look out the tire, the heck, dude. This is where you'll find the most random crap just placed around the track. God dang tire, there it is again. The heck is it doing there? Who put that crap there? Now, I barely made this dang flip last time. Once again, almost didn't make it. Wow. And of course, as a bit of a trade-off, tricking is just wonderfully slow and painful. It's like, just stick your legs out and go already. <laughs> Last lap. That was quite a bit of boost there, heck yeah. Used all of it. Landed as soon as possible. That was ideal. Um, and pretty much my theory was correct. After a track or two, after like 10 or so minutes, 
um, I am pretty much back into the groove of legit pure of the mods. I'm kind of giving the mods a rest and just going back to default tunings and legit pure, playing everything legit. Um, I am used to it again, at least pretty much anyway. Especially when I have the right bike parts. There's my first crash for the race. The only crash for the race, hopefully. I can see the folks in the back here. That's a good sign. Going quite quick. Look at the barrels and crap, dude. Why? Yep, just dead folks laying around. And we're done here. That is a cool sound effect. Bring. Reminds you of like B Sports whenever you do something good. <laughs> that high pitch bring. So on to the next one, Alto Vista. Um, I know everything is all hunky dory now, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak to you soon. I'm sure this gets quite this gets quite tedious after a while. Towards the end, with like maybe a food temple, Skibi Glacier, Glamis, and then a Sotalo. I'm sure by then could be a bit tired. Uh or not. I may not be. Who knows? I could hold out my, my stamina here for 90 minutes, or however long this takes. I'm still not quite used to the heavier vehicle mass. Um, feels like I'm driving a big old brick here. Oh, okay. Well, we learned our lesson on that one. Let's keep things moving here. What are you doing taking this way? I am not phased by an initial crash. I'm not scared of it. Here we go. How if one of those was tame? Interesting. I wonder if this way would actually be a bit quicker, and then you can just kind of hop over the hill here, and then yeah, it pretty much would be, but I'm, I'm not liking the class D speed right now, let's get things moving. A few more tricks, get some boost going, right? Oh, I made that how? Just about made that, heck yeah. Cutting those real close, man. Let's go front flip this time with the heel kicker and rodeo. Those would be some ridiculous names if the Tricks mod was in place. But I switched them out to go legit for this run, obviously, because I do want to submit this, etc. Much better execution of that that time. Let's just about clear that. Get an extra third trick. Much better time here. 125. Nope, no trick. Just gonna boost, gonna preload quite awkwardly, and uh, ignore gravity for a second, because that is exactly what you do there. Want to replicate 
virtually the exact same execution of the previous lap. Get the tire out of the way. There's a tire on the edge of the jump. Not helpful. Um, advanced trick for once. Just been nailing basic tricks the whole time. Because, at least I'm pretty sure it's more effective to uh, just keep hammering the boost all the way around whenever possible. Although I could be wrong, and it may be better to save up the boost for a few tricks and use it for moments like this. Yeah, could be. I potentially have been using the wrong strat for a boost the whole time. Um, maybe you are meant to build things up for a half lap or so. Yeah, because that was a bit faster. 123. Or 122.96. Wow. On to Mount Dakota. Uh, we are 16 minutes in, at least to the video, and so far... Um, I'm not tired. I'm actually kind of enjoying this so far. Um, yeah, been kind of fun so far, actually. Doing some races here. And it's not really possible in just 90 minutes to go tired, go hungry, go clinically insane. Um, a, a, a full tour run is where that stuff happens. But not just for races here. For like an hour or so. Hooray! Maybe a lot of initial boosting to quicken the initial lap. Maybe that isn't so bad. But then of course toward the second and third lap, building building up the juice uh, would probably be a bit better. Because I did see that the coming to the, the finish on the final lap of Alto Vista, um, I was a couple seconds faster by saving some juice and getting to advance trick as quick as possible here. So maybe, like, try to like do some balancing act, where you are still boosting, but of course still save some for advanced tricks to kind of keep it up exponentially, like right now, basically. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually do the best I can. Yeah, so new strat here. Do the best I can to keep advanced trick throughout all three laps, and pro trick would be even better. Um, which I just lost, which is fine. Pretty swift Mount Garda so far, dang. An initial 124. Look out for the barrels and tires and bull crap. Oh my god, dude. I swear, they, they trash the track. Even do a flip with advanced, that'll be a big reward there for boost. Even do pro trick, here we go, yep. Whoa, look out for the crap, dude. Oh my god, full bar, here we go, yep, yep, yep. So, screw saving, we can just go now. Keep doing pro tricks. Oh, that was a little close to the ground. I forgot my shortcut route, dude. That's stale now. Well, might have to lose pro trick here, which is fine. As long as I make it to the shortcut route, get it back. And here we go. Yeah, that was a 123. That would have been a new lap record a couple of weeks ago. Those were tame, really? OK, 
could even do special here because I got the star for a full refill. Dang. Or at least mostly. And throw in a super can. Yep. A couple of pro tricks. I kind of stopped boosting for a bit there just to not miss the shortcut bit here. Oh, that was a flaw. We're shaving off time right now. That was a great execution. Um, look out for the recovers here in the back who are being mindless idiots. Losing Pro Trick is fine, because this is the end. Crashing is not so fine. Be careful. And of course, you can use it all up here at the end. Oh my god. And that's what slows it down people in the way. Move. Wow. That would have been a record had there not been morons in the way. Hey, ay ay. Want to try and not get rid of that get rid of that full leaderboard thing at the end there just to make this a bit easier to time at the end. When I finish this and go back and watch it back to time all this, all the splits, put this together. I'm going to show that final time there at the end. The final time of all the final time of all three laps. Um, want to try and show that for a few more frames to not make that a pain to catch. And on to Kosa. So, bit of an update here. It took all the way to Kosa for my butt to finally not like me. <laughs> bit of a TMI. Bit sore already, but. A few fixing of my a few fixings of my posture ought to fix that. Oh gosh, out of the way, Red Todd. And the other folks too. I am boxed in. Would you move, please? Pathetic. Advanced already. Yeah, it is. That is more efficient. To save up the juice. So so you mean to tell me this whole time for both of the both legit sprints and legit reverses? And the tour run, the whole three hour tour run, the 302.13, that I had the wrong strat, and I should have been I should have been saving my juice up. Wow. Could have I could have shaved off a whole few minutes doing this crap on the tour run. And at least ten or so seconds on what am I doing? On um, the all sprints and all reverses. Guess we're freaking going this way now. Hitting the tree as well for a bonus. Doing some cartwheels? Well, good thing it is the initial lap. Those were tame, seriously. And I'm going to save here, not boost. Want to keep the advance for the second lap here. Initial 127.6. Highly beatable. Um, thanks to that crash there toward the end. Nice contrail up there. Beautiful sky. Beautiful scenery. Heck yeah, dude. Kosa. I say that the most beautiful tracks are Mount Garda, Timber Falls, and Kosa. Those are my favorites. At least in terms of aesthetics. Let's take the actual fast way. Let's not take the actual fast way. Um... Because I was pretty dang sure this way is faster. Oh, this is a hard boost bit here. I'm not sure why I use it up so quick. Well, we're gonna waddle our way up to the shortcut bit here. There we go. Oh my god, background change, huge lag, and uh, much better, a 120, in-game crash, okay, wow, wow, okay, so I actually take three for Kosa before all that crap happened with the background change, and then the lag, and then the game crash, yeah, um, 
just went for take two, and then that in game froze as well, so now take three. I notice a pattern. A pattern on the crashing is that it wants to in game crash twice, and then it's usually good for quite some ways afterwards, so. That was a somewhat less chaotic first turn there for Kosa. Ain't that the slowest dang flip you've ever seen in your life? Oh, barely. Oh, that was good. And of course, I'm going to save up here. I would boost, but I'm not to save up. Don't want to lose advanced. Because it is only lap one. Okay, now I can use it a bit more. Um, I'm fine with losing pro. It's advanced that I'm more concerned with. Uh, way better initial lap, 122. Bit of extra air to finish this flip securely. Yeah. I lost, I lost Pro and then regained it back immediately. And now, almost a full bar, can hammer the boost. Clear till the next jump. Once again, hang a left. Full bar, got special. Um, can just crank this crap now. Once again, careful, goodness. Gets so nervous, gets so nervous through there. Um, even with special, I'm gonna try and keep advanced here. It's not gonna too much air again, of course. Um, losing pro is fine. That was dang near a lap record, 117. Holy, we're shaving off time here. Even more time. Yeah, this ought to this ought to clearly make up for the initial Timber Falls idiocy of using a freestyle bike. And of course, special can just hammer all the way here. We. Is that the first special of the run so far? Maybe. I wouldn't keep in track. Not sure why that was so chaotic. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that was about as tight as that can go. Dude, what was that lap time? God, I just sub it. I just... Wait, did that just say 515 beneath me? <laughs> Wait, I, I was ahead by a lap? I was ahead by a minute 20 right now? Hang on, dude. We're finishing this crap early, like... Oh my lord. It is 810. Still Thursday the 8th. Got the holidays coming up here. Just had Thanksgiving a couple of weeks ago. It is now Christmas and New Year's, etc. Happy holidays. Enjoy yourself, the time off, etc. Enjoy the snow, the presents. 
the holiday cheer, etc. And enjoy the madness of these pure runs. Once again, don't like being boxed in. Move it. I like to move it, move it. Oh! Pure talent, pun intended. Was that a, was that the game itself breaking its own fourth wall? Pun intended. Oh! Fall a bit short here on purpose to land early, and of course do the same thing. Mind the rocks. Now. Uh, Pretty sure hanging right here is faster, at least you should be. Uh, once again, don't mind losing pro, could do that all day. That was perfect. Dude, this is a great first lap. Um, cleared pretty much every hill except for that one. An initial 134 right now. We're on our way. That's not gonna happen. Whoa. Some hay barrel right where it needs to not be. That's great. I did not say go right, hello. Whoa. Some funky physics there. Oh, wow, that's what I feared, and my fear literally came true. That's a, that's a whopping two seconds gone, though, no one cares. All the, it's like whenever you take these jumps real low, and you just barely clear the next hill, uh, the gravity is like so nice to you all of a sudden. Not sure why I preloaded. And there's the star finally. Get the hay barrels and crap out of the way. Dude could even do a special right here. Let's go for it. Yeah, so I couldn't break the initial lapse times because of that crash. Um, shouldn't happen again though. I gotta get boosting. And I will. Oh my god, if you don't stop with your in-game crashes, dude. So this is take three for food apples. He just had to not preload as well, dude. Move. Awesome. It's like, hey, let's not do that. Let's not do that, neck neck.
So... Initial first lap. 134 again. Want a bit of extra air to pull off the flip here? Yeah. That extra second or so of air time is worth it because I get paid off by more juice. Now my headphones are a bit low on battery. That's great. Um, this is actually really not the time for that. Um, if I have to finish this freaking run mute, I will do so. So if that's why the latter half of this video has no commentary or even any sound at all, um, that's why, because my headphones died. Um, but nonetheless, you can still see the run. It'll just have no sound. Um, but I'm gonna keep these on as long as possible, and they could get out, they could give out at any given moment. Um, and it is from that point forward that the video will be mute. So, hooray, fun times, and hooray for low battery. I didn't clear this? Hello? I didn't clear that? Oh, screw you. What a slap in the face that was. Waste of my four seconds. Finish for your temples, finally. 442. Whew. So yeah, because my, 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 my Bluetooth headphones went low battery just now, so... Uh, yeah, this, this video, this whole video, both commentary and in-game sound, um, it could all go mute right now, at any given moment. So, if that happens, um, don't mind it please, and I will simply just continue the run as is, because you can still see it, just, you can still see the run just fine. Um, it's just that headphones want to be low right now of all times. It is approaching 8.30. Hey. Yeah, there it is, low battery, there it is again, yep, yeah, okay, so... This video, if my headphones are as low as 20 or even 10% right now, um, the last few races of this video could be completely mute with no in-game sound and no commentary. So if that ever, if that happens toward the end, you'll know why. And just, just FF in the comments, rest in peace headphones. Unless OBS can continue miraculously recording um, mic and in game with the headphones off, not sure how.
Ford just about made that. Just remembered the shortcut up here. So yeah, enjoy these final moments of audio here, because uh, it could easily go out by the time this is done. Um, because if I am only at Tonga Crater, uh, that's easily five more tracks that I have to do. Yeah, they definitely will give out by then. Also, not sure what I was doing taking that long way on the initial lap. And I am not making this. Oh. Barely made that too. If anything, the headphones being low should motivate me to work even faster. You know? Use anything to your advantage at this point. Yeah, I do apologize if only some of the video has audio, and if toward the end it goes mute. Um, thank my headphones for that one. Whoa, background change. That is what triggered the in-game crash last time, so let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. And let's take it easy on the background changes. It's dang near running smoother since that background change. Hi. Because that's logical. Oh, that was cutting it close, dude. I mean, this is rookie AI, to be fair. That's why they're so far behind. And that's why I'm, like, over a minute ahead. Over a lap ahead. Um, and, uh... I'm gonna 121 this crap. And we're done here. 418. So... Um, both game and me could just go at any point and stop having audio thanks to the headphones, so keep a lookout for that. Um, but until then, I'm just gonna keep, e even if that does happen, I'm gonna keep going like usual. Keep doing the run here, because you can still see it just fine. Ready to roll. Yeah. On the Kiwi Glacier, which I see no reason why it should take any more than about 410 or 415, 420. 420. <laughs> um. Especially if I am efficient, go the best routes, which is through here. The quickest route is typically the flattest route. Being past, dude, who cares? About to boost through here. Just about made that. Pretty much have to make that every time to be quick, as quick as possible. Oh 
tampoco es Oh, that was smooth but close. Once again, losing pro doesn't matter. Advanced matters far more. There's an additional 123. Heck yeah. Only one of those is tame. Wow, okay. Because that's logic. Oh, cleared it. Even our race plus two cleared that damn thing. It is faster to go this way. Oh, what was I doing trying to do some weird shortcut type thing through that jump all this time? Once again, how the crap did I make that, dude? Oh, lap record. Lap record. Oh my god. This video is now a twofer. Could literally now submit that for 118.39 on Kimi Glacier Race Best Lab. So that's kind of special. See, like, th the moment I said, th the moment I realized it is faster to do that last, one of those last jumps there, um, that way, um, and not try to cut it short, and just go the path they intended, um, I cut off a whole second. Cleared it again. Oh, you're supposed to clear this one first before you, well, there's a couple of seconds gone. Um, was gonna try and rebeat this, but oh well. Oh, cut that so close every dang time. If I could not fly through the air, dang it, beat it again. Four minutes flat, dude. One seventeen is possible for Kiwi Glacier. I'm f if I, if I had not screwed that up, if I cleared that first hill on that jump, dude. One seventeen is possible right now for Kiwi Glacier. My trauma mode. No, I'm not. Um, I could literally submit this video for double, for two different purposes now. For a Kiwi Glacier Best Lap 118.39. Wow. This is not a mosh pit, this is a race. Now would you move? That was close, dude. Holy crap, Jay. Move. Now the higher the standard vehicle mass actually helped there because if it was lower than standard, if it was a hacked vehicle mass that was much lower, that little clip on that bit of the track there would have sent me flying forward, which I'm quite happy it did not because that was pretty rage inducing last time that I was here at towards the end of the hack tour run in the D4 stage, I was at a Ghost Creek race, and uh, 
it was just, I, just go watch the video and check it out. It was un, I crashed eight times and it was the most rage inducing event of the whole run by far. I'm not making that excuse you. Well, next time though, if I preload. Should have preloaded the bad, bad, bad tad, blah, blah, blah there. Just to um, clear that bit of the hill. And I'm losing my English. There's lap two. What kind of myth? I swear, dude. Because with freestyle shocks, you can clear that just fine. Got a bit too used to that now. These are race shocks. Secured that hill a bit better that time. Oh, nice tire. There we go. Surprise it like an hour into it at this point. Um, my legs are still pretty much fine. Um, not that bored. Not hungry. Not clinically insane. Pretty okay still. And because I went back and redid the tour, finished those events, and it got it all done, legit, I, I, I. I can do the other four specials now. See, made it this time. Would you do something? When I, when I press one of the three one of the first four numbers and then an arrow key, you're meant to do something. You know that, right? That was a slower second lap again. I crashed it because of the, the initial saddle flip failure right there. That was an embarrassment. I swear, game cannot be held. That is a much better initial 138. Now, to special here, you a bit more air and speed, right? A lot more than what I tried with Rosa back there a few minutes ago. max RPM constantly. I swear I just went like into my subconscious autopilot mode where I'm half not here and where I'm just letting letting the thing do the thing, if you know what I mean, jelly bean. <laughs> Maybe I am losing it a little bit, you know what? Oh my god. That speeds it up, dude. Whenever I don't preload, like the gravity thing pushes, like it pushes me toward it. That's great. That's a very good use of time. That's also a lap record. Oh my god, one thirty-three sixty-eight, dude, breaking records. Just trying to do, just trying to do an all races run. So. The clip of that best lab time, the lab record is from take two. This is now take four of Ghost Creek. I have now closed out Google and Discord. We're in the background, they're closed now. Maybe taking up some of the uh, the hard disk space, um, the CPU and the RAM and the processing that could go towards pure. Should now be used by it instead. And perhaps that is what is crashing, what is causing the 5,000 crashes. Got him boxed in, move. 
How did Takeshi get so far out front? Cut that close. I think I'm noticing some better frames uh, since closing everything. So that could be a potential answer, at least for now, anyway, uh, for the next three or so, for the next couple of weeks, till I get my new PC for Christmas. That'll be quite fun. It's got twice as much RAM, better processing. just about make this when you don't preload, except for that dang time, it wasn't nice to me, wow. Oh god, the flips are like idiotically slow on Race Plus 2. Yeah, dude, my frames are like a full 60. They're like way better ever since closing that crap out. And if it still does it, then I am fresh out of troubleshoots for what could freaking cause this. Ho ho ho. Make the shortcut this time, thank you. Hey yo. It is almost 9 o'clock here on Thursday the 8th, still, and uh, this has been taking a bit longer than it otherwise would have, thanks to the 5,000 crashes, but it is nonetheless still commencing at a relatively competent pace. And. Uh, This video should be up by sometime in the next, you know, century. And it is nice to know that we have broken a couple of best race laps as a bonus, along with the first submission for all races best time. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not even seeing a struggle right now. Like, it's like a smooth 60, or at least 40 or 50. Ever since closing out Google and, Google and Discord, closing them out to free up some space, some CPU. Extra preload to ensure that I make it. Yep. That Rockstar sounds depressing on Race Plus 2 because the, the tricks are slower. It also kind of slows down the sound effects too. Kind of a fun fact. Let's clear this hill. And finally, for the love of all that is good in this world, finish Ghost Creek with a 451. With a 4. With a. With a. Once again, they were behind by, I swear that was a minute 25 they're freaking behind by. Golly, Ghost Creek, that was like a 15 minute take for Ghost Creek. That was take four right there for Ghost Creek, thanks to these temper tantrums. I'm pretty sure it was just because of 
Google and Discord in the background. Um, Onda, what is it, Sandy Mountain? Yeah. Out of the way, Brett. Out of the way, White. Brett. Out of the way, frickin' Takeshi and Jay and Green Susie and Red Todd and Black Todd and frickin' Moo. Get a life. So a bit of a shortcut route for your Sandy Mountain. You can take that way and go left here. Yeah, yeah. That should save at least a couple of seconds. If we could get things moving, please. So the biggest jump, Sandy Mountain. Possibly the biggest jump in the game. A huge opportunity for more tricks, more juice here. That ought to do it. Once again, it's fine to lose pro. Advance matters more. Pretty sure there's a faster way to go on the race route. For the race route. Initial 128. I'm actually not sure why I submitted that 131 that one time, a couple of weeks ago. Because um, that was the warm-up time, and is actually insanely beatable. Um, quite pathetic, actually. I'm thinking of it a, maybe a Class B could beat that dang time. Uh, yeah, I've noticed a much bigger improvement in performance ever since closing Google and Discord out. Uh, freed up more space and more RAM, I guess, for it. Um, much better frame rate, a um, lot less hiccups and struggling to keep up. Um, I see hardly, hardly none of that now. Do the other one as well, the heck was... Ooh, background change, bit of lag. I think this one is faster technically, because you get on the ground a lot sooner. Yeah. And then, of course, fly through this way. Staying up top here could actually be proved to be a bit faster. Right, then a bit of a turn through here. And a preload off the edge with a few tricks. Yep, there's a 125. Nice barrel. Nice hay barrels directly where I need to be. That was lovely. The slowest dang front flip of your life. They're at that jump. They're at that jump on the previous lap. Just committed a violent homicide. Frick was that? Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Be that clunk when I landed? God. Oh my god. Frick was that? They're still crashing on lap 2, and I'm lapping them. They are, they're tossing crap down that pathway. Thank you so much. How in the frick on earth, dude? Here's Jay being a menace. I beat him to the line. 418. 602. You can't even sub 6 Sandy Mountain. Y'all are sad, dude. 
I mean, it is a rookie to be fair, but still, but like a hit by like 140 or some crap. That was insane. Typhic Lamus, this is ending a bit quicker than I thought it would. Um, I was expecting a pretty dang tedious run, and it's proven to still kind of be, but not as bad as I thought. Um, at least compared to crap like the tour run, um, the three-hour tour run, 302.13. That was quite tedious, and this is maybe half that in comparison. Um... I also am considering a World Tour 100%, which you maybe could sub 5 hours. Um, it would have to be on like this weekend or something, maybe. I'm not even saying that I will for sure, but I could. There's a chance thinking about it. Um, would have to be, would have to have quite the amount of patience. Okay. At least that one was early. Take 3 for Glamis. Love how it, just to spite me, has to crash again, even after closing stuff in the background. It's like, great. Bit of a flip here, the biggest jump at the track, taking advantage of it. So I'm not gonna boost here, wanna save it up once again. And there's someone 18, good enough. Because the record here is 109.15 after all. So, uh, beatable. Pretty much always is beatable, no matter what it is actually until you get to the hard limit and want to start hacking like I have showcased in the previous couple of videos. But I decided to go back I decided to go back to playing this legit and doing a legit or races run just to just to do it, get that out there and have the first submission for it. Funky gravity thing just happened. <laughs> that was a great turn. 112, dude. Sorry for the lack of commentary, past moment or so, just want to focus here. Right, stay low. Try not to lose advanced. Somebody has died, and they're like on the previous lap, dude. Death is continuing to ensue down here at the bottom of this 
hill here. Uh, another great lap, a 111.76, and we were done in 3.42. They were still at dang near six minutes. That is almost twice. I almost halved the time it took them. Dang. Last one, finally, a Sotolo. Golly. About to take four years to finish this crap. Gotta clip this all together, including all the crashes. There are like, like eight or nine different clips. Um, ought to be quite quite fun to do all the trimming, all the clipping, all the putting the putting this together, um, and then of course retiming based off of the IGTs at the end of each race. And finally, by about 6 p.m. in the morning last year or some crap, crap that doesn't make sense. Get this up. I do not go the jump route. We'll catch him. We'll catch him. Have faith. I told you, we're back and forth, just like that. Not to mention the shortcut way here. Oh. Bit of a funky landing. Oh, try and keep that. I've got just a just a hair enough to keep advanced. Look at that crap. And I chose to do the slowest thing once for some reason. They're all back there. She told you, told you we'd catch up. Look at it now. We're ahead by at least 10 seconds. Taking all the shortcut routes. Been a friggin' 112, 111 a Sotolo right now. Can't quite do the, the, the full crazy sub 110 lap record type stuff. Just because I don't really have the full bar for it. At least yet, anyway. Um, and plus, 109.09 is quite the menace to try and beat. Um, pretty sure 108 is possible, though. Just gotta be pixel perfect on all your jumps and all your turns. Take all the best routes. Although, to be, to be fair, I've unintentionally, twice now, beaten two best race laps at Kiwi Glacier and Ghost Creek. So, I, I could literally submit those under that category as well, with the same freaking video, all this big half hour and a half video. Or whatever it is, whatever it turns out to be. Because I don't currently know at the time of the time of filming. Yeah. This was a way better second lap. <coughs> Boy, good lord, got a 114, 114.69. Couple of SMs. Yeah. Stop, turn, go. It's the only crazy bit about the left shortcut way, way here at Asotolo. At least there anyway. Where what is both barrel and hay barrel right where they need to not be again? Actually, shouldn't have reloaded, but oh well. Cry me a river. Like I, I lost one second or some crap. And we're done here. 351. Okay, I was going to say, could you imagine 
if it had an if it had a tenth crash, another crash at the end of the last lap on a Sotolo, I would have actually I I would have I would have unplugged this dang thing. I would have tossed it out the goddamn window, 